Good morning, Richard Nikola here. Uh, I was compelled to come up here. Uh, it's just up the hill from my place. You actually walk it, maybe a kilometer only. Uh, but it's a nice setting. It's a good, beautiful morning. It's about 10 o'clock. I've been up since 5. Slept in this morning. Um, and uh, so I get up to, what news do I get up to? Uh, uh, Tucker is gone from Fox. I, I jumped on Twitter and, um, and uh, put in Fox News as a trending search term. And, and uh, it's just pretty much blazing. Why do I do that? It's to get engagement, you know, grow or die. So I always need new blood. Um, on the blog, so you know, I go and I find the, the uh, people with lots of followers who tweet something about it, and I make some sort of brilliant, astute comment. And it's just going like crazy. I had to leave because my notifications are just going bing, 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 bing all the time with people liking. And out of that, you know, you get hundreds of people who like your comment. And out of that, maybe you get, you know, a dozen new followers of the of your Twitter feed and, and from that you know they stay or they leave and if they stay there's a chance they'll uh, subscribe to the newsletter on the blog and uh, and and you know filtering down and down and down and you know eventually become subscribers that's what I do it's a pretty simple formula so about Tucker and Fox News well I'm not going to say that I saw this coming, but what I am going to say is that I'm retrospectively surprised it didn't come sooner, given that he's really, he, and he's distinguished himself as late, being the most popular host on Fox. Yeah, they got rid of their star. You know, it's like, it's like watching a, a series that you're all invested in, invested in, and the star, the, they kill the star of the show. I mean, how fucking stupid is that, really? Right? Um, but... That aside, you know, um, Tucker just wasn't uh, willing to do what I, I coined this phrase now called, it goes like, it's the banal, you, most people have heard of the banal, banality of evil. That's uh, um, uh, Arendt's uh, description of, um, of Eichler uh, way back when it was like, when it was like, well, it's not so much this evil intention. It's just being a efficient functionary, you know. Um, so I call it the banality of dishonesty playing out as automatic lying. Everybody lies automatically. The, the, the dishonesty is so entrenched, it's just a, it's automatic lying. There's no voice of consciousness anymore. There's nothing, right? It's just, boop, that's the approved narrative. And that's uh, how it rolls anyway. So uh, Tucker simply wasn't uh, willing to do that, you know. And uh, I was done with Fox News the night um, they called Arizona inappropriately. <laughs> you know, it ended up still, it's still, it, there's still parts of that that are in court, I believe. I'm not sure. But uh, with only 10% of precincts uh, reporting, and then a few days later, uh, you know, call the winner. I'm like, okay, they're in on the approved narrative. And then just, uh, you know, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, two months after that, they knee-jerk jumped on the January 6th approved narrative, right? And showed the depths of their evil uh, all these years, and Tucker exposed that. They exposed how evil Fox News is for sticking to that January 6th narrative of insurrection and, and oh my God, these these uh, insurrectionists and blah, 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 blah. And it was all a lie. It was all bullshit from the start. And it took Tucker to expose it. And, uh, a lot of people higher up uh, than just the newsroom didn't like that. Uh, who was it? Uh, the trader Paul Ryan. He had said, "said Well, it's time for 
Fox News to move on from Trump. Okay, well, I have my problems with Trump. He got pawned with, for co with COVID, and he still touts that to poison jab, right? But saying it's time for Fox News to move on from Trump is kind of rather like saying, in light of this latest of, of uh, Tucker leaving, uh, I think it's time for Republicans and conservatives to move on from Fox News. And, you know, Newsmax is not much better. They're still, they're just an alternative, you know, purveyor of approved narrative. A little bit better. You know, I can't stomach them. Um, and uh, so, you know, I'm, but, you know, these last few years, uh, what I've done is I just get, I just watch clips of Tucker. Uh, on from the YouTube channel and other sources, right? So that's, you know, every once in a while I'll catch a clip from somebody else. And I know there's other decent people there, uh, you know, like Gutfeld and Waters. Um, um, I've never been a big fan of Bongino, or uh, I do like, uh, what's his name? Um, Hilton, Steve Hilton's pretty cool. But they're weekend guys. Um, and... Uh, Ingram has her moments, you know, uh, Ingraham, I should say, um, but that's about it, you know, uh, so, you know, let them just, and I can't stand Piro, for fuck's sake, shut up already, um, and, uh, um, so, you know, there's just nothing for, nothing for me, Fox News, but it hasn't been for a while, only, only Carlson, so, you know, um, uh, Glenn Beck, the blaze, has already invited uh, Tucker to come join. I doubt that will happen. I think Tucker should go and do his own gig like uh, Glenn Greenwald has. Like, um, uh, like um, uh, you know, like uh, other guys have. You know, uh, do their own gig. Uh, do Rumble, Locals, you know, or just your own network kind of a thing it's time I mean he's popular and if he does if he does it where it's not only himself and makes kind of a, a show out of it I mean he can pull away so much of Fox's viewership you know it'll be funny and I'm lick I'm I'm licking my chops I can't wait to dance and piss on the grave of Fox and snooze <laughs> dance and piss on the grave of Fox News. That's the thing.